Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I am very excited to share with you the new look of the Journal Junk Box which has been sent to me for review. So they have been sort of promoting their relaunch for the last few months. They've been doing some great sales. They have one going on right now if you go to the website. Uh, but look at this new box. They went back to a printed box which I love and it's nice and big and bright and it makes me excited to open it up. So the price hasn't changed. It is $52.99 per month. But like I said, there are some sales going on. And I do have an affiliate link and a code for you just in case. So it's High Noel and that'll save you 15%, which is a great deal. But obviously get the best deal you can. She has been doing some really, really great promotions. They also have a journaling prompt subscription, which is very affordable and something that pairs really nicely with this box that includes all kinds of stationary items, paper goods, and uh, just things to help inspire and beautify your journals and day planners. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm very excited about the refresh. So I've been anxiously waiting to see what the box would look like. Inside we have their lovely card that is going to tell us uh, not only journal prompts, one for each week of the month, but also our theme, which is Stay Vibrant July. And you know I love a lemon theme. It's just bright and sunny and happy and citrus keeps me awake. So we have that. Then on the back, we have a list of all of the items that are inside of the box. And as usual, there are like eight items. So it's a box that's full of all kinds of goodies, as well as a journaling tip, which this is something they started adding a few months ago. And I really love it. And this one is a really good one for me, because if you've been watching my journal junk unboxings for a while, you know that I love washi tape. I think it is a great product to have. I have a whole array of beautiful washi tapes. They're really nice because you can't make too much of a mistake with it because it's really easy to take it off. However, I don't always know what to do with it. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes, you can decorate packages, you can decorate your journals. Sometimes it's a little bit too thin to use as sort of like corrective tape, honestly. But um, because I'm not a super active uh, journaler or scrapbooker, but I do love me some washi tape. So I'm excited to see what she says. It says, um, oh, Here's a way to use it as a page marker so you can make little tabs with your washi tape or you could even do the whole edge of it just so you know where to turn to in your journal. I think that is a super smart idea. I'm going to put this up in front of me so that I have it as a reference as we go through but they also always have an inspirational card that they are making in-house now because they are really coming into their own with their branding. So journal junk box is a vibe. I like it. So it says every day I welcome a vibrant energy and wellness in mind, body and spirit. So it looks like we've got a, like a fruity theme, right? So we had the lemon and the gingham and now we have uh, the strawberries and some floral. So and again, there's journal jump box there on the back. And then just a little reminder card that this is the brand. And then we still have our tissue paper that says, Hey, journal babe, that's you. That's me. We're, we're journal babes together. Let me see if I can get in here. I was going to say, let me clear my throat. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, I know I haven't been filming very much today, but uh, I'm in a goofy mood, which is great. I, I've appreciated all of the grace and support that you've all shown me when I made my announcement that I'm only going to post every other day for uh, the summer. You guys are all very understanding and um, I really appreciate your continued support. So, uh, but that said, I have been doing a lot of work for some of my other jobs. So this is like a really nice break and I'm really loving having my unboxing channel be what it used to be, which was sort of like uh, a treat for me instead of work. So this is this is a really nice cadence for me. All right. So the first thing we have, I always have to find it at the very bottom, right? Because it provides the structure for the rest of the box is a journal, of course. And you guys know I love a spiral bound journal. This is made in house by Journal Junk Box, and it's got that same beautiful gingham and lemon design. So this has a value of $16.99. You know, I love when boxes include the MSRPs, um, but says stay vibrant and full of life. So it definitely goes with the theme. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like it when there's sort of like an inspirational bit of copy or text on your journals? Or do you like it to be more blank? Just just let me know. Like, and same thing. Do you love having a journal prompt? Like is the um, is the prompt nest subscription something that you would find value in? Or do you just like to write whatever is top of mind? 
I am someone who needs journal prompts, honestly, so uh, I think that's a great subscription to have. It's got these nice wide ruled lines inside and they're nice and dark so you can actually see them so you can keep your journaling nice and neat, but also good for when you're like doing some like scrapbook book kind of work so you can make those nice little squares and grids and patterns uh, and they can all be nice and neat inside so that is our stay vibrant journal by journal junk box right there then what else do we have we have ooh, let's see a recipe card set by journal junk box so this these are really cute these are really cute let me know i'm also curious to know how many of you have an old school uh recipe card box so that was something that my grandmother gifted to me a long time ago when i got into uh cooking and baking especially i used to be a really big baker i don't know where my recipe card box is anymore uh, but there's been a resurgence of this as sort of a vintage thing it's kind of nice to have a tactile uh you know a bunch of recipe cards all in one size so it has room for the dish name preparation time difficulty and it's by little lemons you can like fill it in uh, ingredient list and then instructions so there's this lemon design here I'm trying to see what it looks like on the back but they're stuck together hold on that's just me uh, and my nails not wanting to let them separate okay so oh they're all different so look at this one's really floral and fun on the back um, and then this one so this one has lemons and strawberries as the bullet points and it looks like that on the back this one has all strawberries as the bullet points and has the strawberries on the back. And then I think we go back to the lemons with the um, springy floral pattern. So it looks like we've got, let's see, does it say? Yeah, back to the spring. So it looks like there's three different um, patterns. One with lemons, one with strawberries, one with strawberries and lemons. So like this, lovely. And then I think we got maybe nine or 12 i'm guessing it's probably the same number of each design so 10.99 is the value on that let me see if i can count real quick one two three i'm thinking it's 12. yeah it looks like there's 12 cards that's pretty good so what is your favorite summertime recipe so I've asked you so many questions. You guys have so many things to put in the comments today. You know, what do you, what, what do you prefer? Do you like prompts for your journaling? Do you have a recipe card holder? And what is your favorite summer recipe? We have talked about doing a recipe book over in the Nobot Nook, um, and we're gonna have to make that happen one of these days. We do all kinds of fun things over there, like gift exchanges and uh, book clubs. So maybe one of these days we'll have to do that and it would be really cute if we got to use these cute recipe cards this would be also really good for our gift exchanges if everybody included one of these cute recipe cards and sent it off love that all right we also have here's that washi tape look ooh, this is nice this is like perfect for the project they were talking about which is making page markers because it's this nice big fat washi tape love it so this is the oh so juicy washi tape set by journal junk they're making their own washi tape all right so we've got here we got strawberries and lemons once again so it's a fruity fruity theme this time all right we also have that's a value of 8.99 we have the fruitful delights paper pack here we go. Fruitful Delights paper pack. Whenever I get square paper like this, uh, also by Journal Junk, I um, usually think of like origami. I don't know. It's probably a little thicker than that it's for your scrapbooking and journaling. But let's take a look. So it's got six designs inside, 12 sheets. So basically three of each, uh, four of each of the designs, I'm guessing. No, two of each. Man, you'd think I would be better at math, right? So 12 sheets six designs so I'm guessing there are two of each design but they are great so let's see how oh they're so cute all right so should I show you all of them 12 sheets it's six by six in case you were wondering so we got the strawberries and the hearts kind of a little like country vibe there we have oh this is nice thick paper I like thought it was stuck together but it's not we have some stripes so you can use this for all kinds of occasions this would work for like Christmas Valentine's Day just fun uh, stripey summer for sure it's got like beach towel vibes some watermelon that's definitely more of a summertime vibe right there I like that uh, this is some pink polka dots with some kind of like water colors behind it uh, let's see we have 
strawberries and lemons to go with our theme and then one more pattern oh this one's cute this feels like confetti so it's got the green and the red dots so they all complement one another so if you were doing your whole month in your planner using these papers you can make it all kind of vibe together so this paper pack has a value of $9.99 so fun all right now we have the pen set because they always include a journal and of course they always include some writing utensils so this is like a lot of pens how cute so they're all like strawberry themed aren't those adorable so this is the sweet strawberry pen set it has a value of $10.99 so nice fun clicker pens to uh write all of your deep deep thoughts down with Ooh, this is a good item. This is a beautiful pattern and design, which I think we've seen a little bit of it like years ago in a uh, one of the Journal Junk boxes, but I love this. I think it's so pretty uh, with this kind of like peachy background and then the lemons and all the florals. This is by Elam Designs. Uh, so this is their Weekly Eats Portable List Pad. It has a value of $12.99, and of course it is going to come out of that uh little plastic bit but we have cook this so we have your weekly planner so you know what you're going to be making and then we have your buy that uh, shopping list and I was actually just planning a family trip I got a little carried away I have a lot of more urgent trip planning to do like trips that are coming up in like less than a month and I haven't had them gotten them fully planned which is very unlike me especially with all the amazing beautiful paper products that I have from Journal Junk Box you would think that I would have everything planned to a T. Um, it'll it'll happen I trust and believe but I got like sidetracked because there is this uh, family trip that we're planning not until not until January I know you guys I have so many things before then but we are renting a beautiful house and so we're probably going to have a lot of family over so this is going to be perfect for that because I was already thinking about it and I was like you know what it's going to be so much easier just because of where we're going to be it's kind of out in the wilderness like for us to just do a nice big grocery run and kind of have our plan for the week in terms of what meals we're going to cook I might kind of double up and do like you know instead of Monday Tuesday be like lunch and dinner and then have a nice nice shopping list um maybe even categorized by the areas in the grocery store and you know I love a checklist where I can check off those little circles so this might be a really good one um it's great of course for those of you who have bigger purses but this is going to be nice for me for travel uh when I am doing sort of the meal planning and my husband and I like we kind of have fun being the the, the uh, in-house chefs when it's a family trip so this will be great for that all right let's see we that has a value I, I did say of $12.99 we have still more stuff we have another uh, keep it zesty journal junk sticker collection so this is so fun if they're kind of bursting out of the seams they're so excited about it as well so this is a value of $8.99 and usually in these sticker packs I'm not sure if it says how many but um, there's like 50 stickers in here there are a lot so I love all the lemon trees so I can't show them all to you because that would take way too much time but look at this like strawberry tea set one I love st you guys know I love stickers I, it's just easier for me to use than um, the beautiful ephemera that we also get sometimes in journal junk box it's just so much easier when you just peel it and stick it instead of having to use like glue dots or something but there's a few that have um, there's a few that have uh, writing like this one says smile it's contagious uh, let's see chase dreams oh we've got a couple like chase dreams ones so that would be good to set next to your like big goals for the week uh, choose joy every day I thought it said cheese <laughs> I must just be hungry really pretty little like border ones as well so again I won't show them all to you but some of them are almost like photo reel so that's cute all right so you'll see some of them over on my Instagram because I usually take photos of this box. And like I said, I've been really excited about their sort of uh, revamp, uh, refresh of the box, relaunch. So uh, they're kicking it off with a really good theme. I love the yellow and the red together. Feels summery. We have one last item. This is a magnet set by Cole House, which has a value of $8.99. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So they're lemon shaped magnets. They're on wood. I will show them to you. Uh, $8.99, that's not bad. Super cute, kind of like theme even your um, 
notes that are on your fridge. I do have notes on one side of my fridge that has a more textured surface versus the glossy surface. So this one says, be happy. Uh, make lemonade if you find any lemons in your life. Here comes the sun, like I said, always cheery and bright with lemons. And hello! But you could even use this if you wanted to, if you're not necessarily going to use your paper pack, say, for uh, journaling. You could just like write some fun notes right there and use this magnet as a way to attach it to any metal surface, honestly. But you could do this, like, you could make this um, piece of paper like the background or the border of a photograph. So you just slap the photograph on there and then put the magnet on the corner and then there you go. You have this like cute little collaged photograph with a border and a magnet on your fridge. I think that's a really easy way to decorate or or kids projects, right? You always get a bunch of those. But I think that's a fun way of using these paper packs just to kind of theme your bulletin board or magnet board or whiteboard or whatever you happen to have in your house uh, and just kind of make it a little bit more seasonal. I think that'd be fun. I, I'm already planning my project. So let's just go over everything that we got in this delightful, uh, refreshed uh, journal junk box for July in our Stay Vibrant box. So we got our Stay Vibrant journal. We got our lovely strawberry pen set. Those go so well together. Again, the red and the yellow looks great. It's kind of like primary colors, very simple and sweet. We got our recipe card set. Where did I put them? In three different beautiful designs so you can get excited about making your recipes. And that said, you can kind of complement that with this Elam Designs uh, weekly planner and shopping list, little booklet, little folder, I guess. Then we also have our journal junk box paper pad where we have got six beautiful designs that you can use in your journals, in your scrapbooks, or like I said, just to zhuzh up anything that you are tacking to your refrigerator with these super fun magnets. Be happy magnet set and then of course if you want to get real crazy you can decorate even more with some Ooh, I didn't see these ones look at these these peach and orchid stickers so we got a whole stack of stickers we got the lovely washi tape to go with and um, of course we got our journal prompts too so let's just take a look at one of our journal prompts real quick before we sign off what are three things that bring you color that bring color and joy to your life right now. So a little spin on the gratitude journaling, that's week one. Uh, describe a recent experience that made you feel vibrant and full of energy, week three. How can you add a little sweetness to your daily routine? You could be quite literal with that, like what's, how are you gonna treat yourself? Um, and week four, reflect on a time when you felt most alive and invigorated, what contributed to that feeling? Hmm, I think it was just being like, you know what, today is not a work day, so I am going to enjoy not being at work. I think that is so important for my personal happiness. But you guys, if you have any answers to any of those journal questions, please let me know in the comments below, or I did ask you a lot of questions. Get to journaling, get to subscribing to this box and uh, getting all of these fun, beautiful items so that you can make your journaling a little bit more fun. I'll see you soon in my next unboxing.